All right, welcome back. Uh, these two examples are the spicy ones. So this is the, the part that I said uh, requires a bit of finesse and, and certainly a whole bunch of practice. We'll start with an easy one and then the second one's a bit more uh, involved. So for the first one, we build our intuition. Uh, when you're asked to write sigma notation to rewrite or condense a, a, an open form into a closed form, uh, this is my approach. Now, this is simple enough, so I'm going to use it. Uh, I notice that the numerator is always 5. So whatever is a constant, I place it in. Something that doesn't change is going to be fixed as part of the formula. It's not going to depend on my index. And then this 1 is always the same as well. So I'm going to have 1 plus. All of them are plus, so plus, 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 plus. That's accounted for. Uh, so I'm going to have a plus in the middle, and then you'll notice that I change from 1 to 2 to 3, and then blah blah blah, all the way up until 15. So that means something has to count this movement from 1 to 15. Let's say that my counter is i, and there's nothing special about the letter i, you could call it p. So p could go from 1, and then it's counting all the way up to 15. And then the location of this counter is right here. Now let's verify, make sure that our closed form actually works. And this is just doing a sanity check. If we plug in p equals 1, I'm going to get 5 over 1 plus 1. And then my counter for p moves from 1 to 2. Then I plug in 2, I'm going to get 5 over 1 plus 2. Then the counter moves to 3, 5 over 1 plus 3, blah, blah, blah. Until I, my counter gets to 15, which will be 5 over 1 plus 15. So sanity check works that the formula actually does give me what I started with. 